My name is Troy Cosgrove. I'm with the St. Louis District Army Corps of Engineers and today I'm going to be talking about levy inspections. Why do we conduct levy inspections? First we want to identify deficiencies that we may want to monitor or items that may need to be corrected immediately. Nextly we want to continuously assess the integrity of the levy. The levies are along rivers. Rivers are very dynamic so we want to continue to monitor them over time. We need to collect information which can be used in the future to make decisions. And we want to provide the sponsor and the public with information on the integrity of their levy. We conduct two types of inspections, routine and periodic. A routine inspection is conducted on an annual basis and it is a visual inspection of the operation and maintenance of the levy. Periodic inspections are conducted every five years. They are a visual inspection and are more rigorous. Three key parts of a periodic inspection are data collection, where we go out and re obtain reports on flood fights, emergency action plans, and other inspection reports. Then we perform a field inspection, where a multidisciplinary team, led by a PE, walks the entire length of the levy. And we also compile a levy ins periodic inspection report. In this report, we detail the overall findings of the inspection, and we also give the levy system an inspection rating. Both the routine and the periodic inspection use the same checklist to perform the inspection. Three ratings that we use are acceptable, minimally acceptable, and unacceptable. Here we have a levy. It's in good condition, no erosion, all vegetation growth is acceptable. If for some reason maintenance starts to fall down, vegetation starts to get out of control, you have erosion, that may make that system minimally acceptable. An unacceptable condition could be where you have large vegetation growing on the levee slopes or you have sand boils on the land side or large slope failures. The overall system rating is very important. It determines if a levy system remains active in the Corps' Rehabilitation and Inspection Program. This program provides federal assistance to levy systems if they are damaged during a flood to help re make repairs. If a levy system receives a acceptable or minimally acceptable rating, it remains active in this program. However, if the levy receives an unacceptable, it could be made inactive in the Corps program and it will not receive federal assistance to rehabilitate the levy as damage during a flood event. The Corps uses levy inspections to communicate to levy sponsors and the public the condition of their levies and also recommends actions to reduce flood risk.